I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor, and we have breaking news. All right, Tropical Storm Darby has just formed in the Pacific Ocean. It really ramped up in its development, and now it is a tropical storm expected to strengthen into a hurricane. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. We have the cone right here, the latest cone right here. It is expected to re potentially intensify at a very quick pace into a hurricane right here. And then it's expected to uh, remain a hurricane from Monday until, until late Sunday or early Monday until Wednesday afternoon and then start weakening after that as it moves through cooler waters. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the public advisory we have right here at 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The center of Tropical Storm Darby was located near latitude 14.3 degrees north, longitude 13.5 west. Darby is moving to the west near 16 miles per hour, and this motion is expected with a gradual slowdown over the next se several days. Maximum sustained winds are near 40 miles per hour with higher gusts. Strengthening is forecast during the next 48 hours, and Darby is expected to become a hurricane on Monday. Tropical storm force winds only extend 35 miles from the center because this thing just developed, and the pressure is now 1,006 millibars. As we take a look at the cone again, it's a very small area, and it's concentrated to the nor uh, northeast quadrant of it, which is generally the strongest area of these tropical systems. But if we take a look at this, in fact, let's go back to the last 60 frames just to give you the context of how quickly this thing developed. Let's go ahead and pull it back. This thing was just an invest. It starts showing organization, and then we saw a clear center of circulation right there. That is imp an impressive develop time to develop this thing. Like it took like what, like 24 hours for it to be from an invest into a tropical storm. That is a very impressive time for this thing uh, to develop. And considering that this thing's really well organized, it does have that room and time to strengthen. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the intensity models in the tracks. The intensity models are very interesting. We now have a lot more miles expecting hurricane strength right here. The H wharf has it back up to category two strength. We're going to have to hold off on that on that much strength right for right now. My estimation still stands at 60 to 80 not uh, 80 miles per hour, mostly because of uh, mostly because of the cooler waters that this thing's going to be entering in. Darby's uh, Darby's around right here. It's going to be moving west through decently warm water, and then it's going to start gradually moving through cooler and less deep uh, warm water uh, as it starts uh, to intensify. So I don't think it's going to really uh, get as strong as like a category two hurricane. I don't think it's going to happen at this time, but anything can happen at this point. My estimation still stands at 60 to 80 miles per hour. That's where I'm holding my estimation uh, for you guys. And we'll have to take a look at the track models as well. Track models are straightforward for three days, due west for the next uh, for 72 hours, and then it kind of start, it starts deviating. Some keep it uh, keep it going due west. Others keep, start moving it more towards the no uh, west northwest and then due west. I will say if it stays there at 15 degrees north um, uh, due west, if we take a look at this, like it will have an easier t it'll have an easier time through those waters. Like we're looking at 28 27 degrees. Uh, degrees Celsius, which is around 80 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's an interesting situation we're taking a look at right here. This is, uh, it'll, so it'll handle it really well. We'll just have to pay attention to it as time goes on. That's the only thing we need to uh, really need to think about. But deep, if it deviates to the west northwest, then it'll be moving through these cooler waters right here and start weakening sooner. So this is an interesting situation we'll have to take a look at for the next few days. If you're in Hawaii, you guys should keep an eye on this. Uh, as uh, the time goes on, even though you guys are through cooler waters and all that, it's still a possibility you guys could get some of the outer bands that this is if this thing's get close close enough. Then again, it is we ha we do have about a week uh, before even uh, uh, we talk about impacts in the, uh, on the Hawaiian Islands. It's just an area of interest you guys need to, uh, to pay attention to. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. We have no new models to show you for right now. I will update you guys as the situation develops. But until that time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Hit the red subscribe button and stay safe.